What's going on, comic fam? What is up? It's me, Vincent McLean, the comic machine, and I'm back again with another Thursday video. I'm super, super excited about this video, and you guys should be too, because a huge comic dropped for New Comic Book Day, and it is super awesome. And if you already know what it is, then you should have already read it, because I read it literally right before I made this video so I could like know the what's ups if you know what I'm saying so make sure subscribe like share notification bell boom intro done let's roll first book off the new comic book day pickups and this is gonna be hilarious because the majority of everybody that I know who are collectors probably have somewhere between like 10 to upwards of however many books on their pull list. I only had two books, that's it. I only had two books in my pull list for 2021 for this week, and that was awesome. So first, The Walking Dead Deluxe, issue number 10. I'm just picking this up because I wanna have it in color and it looks super cool. So there you go, first one. All right, so this book I showed on the most recent Monday Night Jibber Jabber. It was a short video. I think it was only live for about 30 minutes. So if you missed it, I'm gonna show it here now, and that is Godzilla, King of Monsters. I picked this up because it's Godzilla, and Godzilla's pretty sweet right now, and I've already got the original number one over there behind me. So I thought this was really cool looking, and I just wanted to get some more monster stuff in the PC. I'm really happy to have this. So I think I paid, I paid less than like 20 bucks for this and it's in a pretty decent copy. So if you're interested, look it up on eBay or hit me up, put comments down below what you think about this book. Let me know. Also, also Godzilla is going to beat Kong. Just, I'm just saying Godzilla. All right. So the second to last book is a pretty big one. So I was kind of struggling about which one I was going to be more excited for, but uh, I think it's going to be for this last book coming up, but I had to finally get my very first copy of any Valiant book, okay? I, I don't think I own any Valiant books. And for my first copy, I had to go with Rye. Look at this book. Issue number zero, it's the matte cover. First appearance of Bloodshot. I picked this up for 10 bucks, maybe. Maybe 10 bucks. Definitely wasn't 20. And it's in pretty pretty good condition. It's like really nice. So first Valiant book, Rye issue number zero, first appearance of Bloodshot. It's a pretty sweet pickup in my opinion. The cover is nice and clean. The insides look really great. And it's just a really easy pickup. Plus I needed a Valiant book. So there you go. Shout out to the Southern Comic Geek, Jason. Boom, I did it. All right. All right, so this one, I, guys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably are aware of the fact that I don't really pick up a whole bunch of new comic book day stuff. I'm usually a back issue kind of guy. However, Keanu Reeves is awesome, all right? John Wick, that entire series, I love it. I love every movie. I do. Every movie's awesome. Whenever I want to watch John Wick, I usually start from the front and finish to the back. So, like... I love John Wick. Keanu Reeves is just killing it. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 was awesome. I still haven't finished it yet, but you know, there's a lot of hate going around that, that entire video game and a lot of issues, but Keanu was a great, great character in that movie with Johnny Silverhand. Um, just like awesome stuff. So, Berserker issue number one. I read this. This thing is bloody and gory and it looks really really interesting to see what's going on and i i really enjoyed the story a lot um definitely it's super cool and it's so awesome because i can hear keanu's voice like when he talks when i read the comic just you know that level of connection with the character i had um knowing he was part of the writing team for this and was in on it and did a whole bunch of stuff for it it's just it's really good Pick you up a copy of Berserker number one if you still can. Um, mine went immediately into the bag and board, but I read it online. This was super awesome. 
All right, so I don't know what else I could say about Berserker without giving away any spoilers and details and stuff like that, but you definitely should, you definitely need to give it a read. It was really cool. I read it in like maybe five minutes. Like I just, I just blasted through it online. Um, yeah, it's super good. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Um, you know, there's only a couple other series that I'm actually reading as soon as they come out. And this is definitely gonna be one of them. So I'm real, real happy to finally have that. So there you go. All right, that's all I got for this video this week. Just a real short, you know, new comic book day, recent eBay haul pickup kind of situation going on. So hopefully you enjoy what I put out today. Let me know what you guys think about what I picked up in the comments down below. Also, I want more Bronze Age horror monsters and stuff like that. So put down below what I should be looking for because I'm kind of like hitting like, I'm kind of hitting a big ass wall right now trying to figure out what I want. So if you got some ideas, let me know. I got my CLZ link down below in the description. You can go on there, see what I currently have in my comic book library. And if you see something in there that I don't have, I need to know. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Peace.